Today we got answers from the Hayes School Superintendent about the video that went viral showing a substitute teacher physically attacking a sophomore student at Lehman High School. Tiffany Langford is charged with felony aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. KXAN's Tahira Rahman sat down with the Hayes CISD superintendent to ask how Langford was screened for classroom work. One note, we have heard from several viewers that they find the video of the incident upsetting. We are going to show it to you again here because we want you to have the full context for the questions we asked the district today. My jaw dropped, the hair on the back of my neck stood up. Hey, CISD Superintendent Eric Wright had the same reaction as many others to this violent video Friday afternoon. To say that I was appalled is probably an understatement. Video that surfaced since then shows a Lehman High School sophomore swinging first at substitute teacher Tiffany Lankford. But Wright says that doesn't change the district's decision to fire Lankford that same day. A teacher would be expected to react by calling the administration and, and punishing those students that didn't comply with their orders. A teacher should never respond by assaulting a child. The district superintendent says they ran a background check on the substitute teacher before she even started working at Lehman or anywhere in the district, and there was nothing to indicate that something like this could happen. No criminal conviction history on federal or state databases. We can control the procedures and the practices that we have, and once an individual is, is well-suited to be hired and put in that position, what we can't control uh, is their emotional intelligence. Wright says Langford was a certified teacher and went through a three-day substitute training with the district. He says they reacted appropriately to what he calls an anomaly. The governor is calling for a review of these district policies. Do you think that's overreaction or do you think that that's something you guys should do? I think it's an overreaction, uh, but we welcome TEA to come and take a look at what we've done because we followed our protocol. We acted swiftly. Tahira Rahman, KXAN News. The attorney for the student says she's being treated by specialists for traumatic brain injury and acute post-traumatic anxiety. The Hayes CISD is offering counseling for anyone who witnessed last week's incident or support services for anyone who saw the video and wants to talk about it.